The HDA process, which is resulting in different appraisal rates, so for Germany and France currently, around 80% of the drugs which are assessed in oncology, the new cancer drugs, are finally approved during the first step, during the first round, whereas in the UK this is around 66% for, for NICE and only 54% for Scotland. This is the first step, which means that there are delays in patients' access to these drugs. And the fact that the rates are lower in NICE and Scotland is due to the fact as well that in this decision-making already the price of the drugs is also assessed. Whereas in Germany and France it's a two-step procedure where at first you're looking to this health technology assessment and then if it's positive the companies start with the payers to discuss prices. In the UK this is directly involved inside this initial decision making by NICE and the SMC. So the situation and uh, um, the evaluation of different prices in Europe it's quite a difficult task because you have this different methodologies, you have also these different procedures inside and in the UK there are in fact economic evaluations which are also used to fix what is possible, what is affordable for the healthcare system and what can be then a maximum accepted price. We have, in terms of the pricing decisions, the economic wealth of a country, which is therefore decisive for what the pay can afford in terms of new medicine. And we see in the decision making in the UK that there are limits, thresholds, which are applied. And we see some decisions where for quite a long time a drug was not available in the UK, whereas it was available in France and Germany. So the pricing itself at the end results to a situation where the countries are discussing with the companies. Very often the final decision, the positive decision, is based on a agreed rebate from a pharmaceutical company. And in order to keep this decision sustainable on a national level, it's kept confidential. Because we have in Europe a situation where pharmaceuticals are considered to be parts of a free market, so they are goods which can circulate once approved, so allowed to circulate in the common market. And we have a phenomena which is called parallel importation, which means that if a good is sold to a lesser price in one country in Europe, it can be bought there and then imported in another country of the European Union, where it's then sold for a price less than the higher price, which is in fact the usual price in this country. And due to this mechanism of parallel trade, um, we had a number, a high number of decisions for the European courts over years, which were tackling many issues related to it. But at the end, what we see is that the mechanism of parallel trade, of parallel importation, is in fact triggering this confidentiality about nationally agreed prices.